What's going on, you legends? We are back with the week two review of the NBA. So we'll take a look at the Philadelphia 76ers first. This team is 6 and 0. Oh. They are on a six game winning streak. And you can see right there, beating mediocre teams and some good teams. They are going to take over the power rankings as the number one team. Last week, they were the third team in power rankings, but they are the new number one in the power rankings. They are the only team that is still undefeated in the season so far. They have two tough matchups between the Jazz and the Nuggets. Hornets are going to try to put up a fight, but that I guarantee you the 76ers will be able to take care of the Hornets. But the Jazz and Nuggets are going to take them to a high-scoring game or a low-scoring game. Who knows? Next up, we have the Milwaukee Bucks. They are on a one-game losing streak, losing to the Timberwolves. They are 4-3 and three to start the year. Beating the Raptors was a good win along with the Rockets and Heat. But their biggest loss, of course, is going to be the Magic by one and getting blown out by the Celtics by 40. That is... I don't, I'm lost of words. It's just hard to explain on what, how this team is struggling when they're known to be one of the greatest teams in the Eastern Conference. They were the number one team in the power ranking last week. They dropped six spots to number seven. Next up is the Chicago Bulls. Started out the week, first week two and two, went two and one this week. So there are... A 4-3 team on a two-game winning streak, as you can see. A big win over the Pacers to end off the week. The Chicago Bulls last week were 20th in the power rankings and are 20th this week as well. They have two tough games against the Lakers and Rockets. And the Hawks is also actually going to be a good game as well because Trey Young is lighting up the league. So we'll see how that game goes throughout next week. For the Cavaliers, they are 4-2. and two. No one saw this. Their only losses are to Milwaukee and the Pacers. But they did beat the Pacers that week before. So the Pacers, Pacers did get a revenge game. We did a live broadcast game against the Chicago Bulls. If you guys haven't seen that, please go do so. Their biggest win, though, is the Mavericks, who are struggling this year. Just the other day, we watched them play, and they did not look that good of a team. But this Cleveland Cavaliers team is looking to shock the whole NBA world. They are 4-2, and two, as you know. They're on a one-game win streak. Last week, they were ranked 14th in power rankings. They cracked the top 10 at number 9. The Boston Celtics started off rough on a two losses against two good teams. They bounced back against... A mediocre Knicks team twice beat them, but their biggest win is the Milwaukee Bucks on a blowout victory. They are three and two to start the year on week two. They're on a three game winning streak. They were ranked twenty first in the power rankings last week. This week they made the biggest jump by jumping eleven spots to make the top ten at number ten. The next team we have is the Los Angeles Clippers. Started out with a loss against the Lakers, as we all know. But they went on a six-game win streak. Big win against the Jazz twice. And a big win against the Spurs in the second week. They are a 6-1 and one team. Last week, they were ranked ninth in the power rankings. This week, number two. Now we have the Memphis Grizzlies. They're on a one-game losing streak, losing to a good Rockets team. Close fought. Their biggest win, however, is going to be the Suns by three. Started out one and two the first week. Also go one and two this week. Grizzlies are young. Don't have a. They have young stars, but not a veteran to help lead this team yet. But the Grizzlies 
are going to start two and four in the first two weeks. They jump only three spots. Last week they were 19th. This week they are 16th. Up next is the Atlanta Hawks. This team finally got their first victory of the season. They only played two games, both against Miami. Got them the second time after losing them the first time. But they came up top the second time against Miami. The Hawks, of course, one game win streak are one and four. They go up one spot only from a 27 to a 26 in the power rankings. Up next is the Miami Heat coming off a disappointing loss as against the Hawks as we know and a tough loss against the Rockets losing to them by seven. They start out one and two in both of the weeks that they have played so they are two and four team. They're on two game losing streak they go down six spots from 13th to 19th. Up next is the Charlotte Hornets. They are a team that kind of shocked the Warriors, beating them by five. Not a team you expect to beat the Warriors, but they are showing they can play against the good teams. They are two and four to start off the first two weeks. They're on a one-game winning streak. They went down, though, in the rankings from 25th to 27th. Not a bad loss for them, just because they're not that great of a team, but I would honestly, in the power rankings, cap them at 25. Up next is the Utah Jazz. Utah, starting out hot in the first two weeks. Two losses came to both the Clippers. They're two big wins, however are against the Kings in that week in the second week but the Lakers in that first week as we said was their biggest win but beating the Kings by one is going to be their biggest win this week Kings were looking for a revenge game almost got it on them but the Jazz looking to continue this hot streak they play a tough four game stretch over the next four games against the 76ers, the Bucks, the Warriors and the Nets we'll see how they fare out against those teams It'll be good matchups, I'm guaranteed, throughout all of those. So as we said, they are 5-2. and two. They only are on a one-game losing streak, however, but started out 4-0 in that first week. Went 1-2 and two this week. For the Jazz, that puts them at number 4 in the power rankings this week. Last week, they were number 2. Up next is the Sacramento Kings. Sacramento comes off a 2-2 two two first week. Went one and two this week against the Hornets as their only victory. Lost to a King Knicks team, my bad. And as we know, lost to the Jazz by one. But for a three and four Kings team, they're on two game losing streak. Last week they were 15th in the power ranking. Now they are 14th. For the New York Knicks, they finally got their first win. They got against the Kings, as we said. Knicks, one game win streak. They are one and six on the year. They were 28th in the power rankings last week, just go to a 29th. Not much of a change for them. The Los Angeles Lakers, as we saw, a dominating win over the Mavericks. And a 10-point victory over the Spurs. They are on a four-game win streak, start the year 5-1 the first two weeks. They were ranked 6th in the power ranking last week, now they are ranked 3rd. For the Orlando Magic. This team actually surprised me. Three game win streak. Yeah, you heard it. Three game win streak. A two point win against the Knicks. One point win against the Bucks. And an 11 point win against the Nuggets. They are 4-2. and two. They make a 10 point jump. A 10 spot jump. My bad. From 23rd to 13th. This team's playing out of nowhere. They have tough schedule coming up this next month, and we'll see if they are up to the task. Up next is the Dallas Mavericks. Started out 2-1. and one, Ended on that as a four-game losing streak, losing to the Lakers and the Cavs and the Nuggets. Two of those teams are respectable. The Cavs, though, are on fire, so I'll respect that loss. But they should not have lost those bad, that bad to those teams. I'm sorry. 
but the Mavericks are two and four on a four game losing streak. They are going to be our biggest fall of the week, dropping from 11 to 21. Up next is the Brooklyn Nets. The Nets are up five to two in the first two weeks. They're on a one game win streak. Of course, beating the Pelicans, tough loss against the Pistons and Pacers. Big win though against the Pelicans and Rockets in this week. The Nets are eighth in this week in the power rankings. Last week they were fifth. The Denver Nuggets. They are on a one game losing streak. Tough loss against the Magic. But this team is known to dominate in the Western Conference. Is guaranteed to finish at least in the top five. Even maybe top four in the Western Conference. Big win against the Mavericks. Big win against the Pelicans. Tough loss against the Magic though. But that doesn't show any difference. They do have a tough matchup coming up next week against the Heat and 76ers along with the Timberwolves. The Nuggets are on a one-game losing streak. 4-2 and two record. Go up one spot in the power rankings from 7th to 6th. The Indiana Pacers are on a one-game losing streak. Are 3-3. Three and three, Turned it around from the first week. Did beat the Cavs. Got that revenge game. Their biggest win, though, is against Brooklyn. Biggest loss is the Bulls the game they should have won. Honestly, this team could be a 5-1 and one team. Just a 4-point loss against the Bulls and a 1-point loss against the Cavs. They could honestly be a 5-1 and one team. Heck, maybe even a 6-0 and oh team. They only lost by 12 to the Pacers, or Pistons that first week. But they are 3-3. Three and three. On one game losing streak, they are 16th as of last week, but they do go to 12th just because of a big win against Brooklyn for the Pelicans. This team is struggling start the year off. They are 1-6 on a three-game losing streak. Tough losses, all blowout losses except for the Knicks, or not Knicks, Nuggets, my bad. To have three games next week, two tough teams. Charlotte, hopefully they can beat Charlotte, but the Raptors... And Rockets are going to put up a big fight against them. And then the week after, these guys do not get a break. They play tough teams the rest of the month. However, the Pelicans are 1-6 on three-game losing streak, as I said. Last week, they were in 24th. They are going to fall to the bottom at 30th. They are the worst team as of now in the league. The Detroit Pistons on one-game losing streak are 3-5. and five. Played four games in both of the weeks. Tough loss against the Raptors and Bulls, but big win against the Nets. But a tough loss against the Wizards. The Pistons, 3-5, and five, as I said, one game losing streak. We're 18th last week. Fall to 23. The Raptors. The Toronto Raptors, one game losing streak, 4-2 and two on the year. Biggest loss is the Bucks, only by two game they could have won. But they didn't. But they did beat the Pistons this week. Only two games. So they're going to have a four-game week next week. Play two good L.A. teams in that. A struggling Pelicans team and a mediocre Sacramento Kings team. We'll see how this team does in that week. The Lakers and Clippers will put up a fight for them. So we will see how they fare out against those teams. The Raptors are 4-2. and One-game losing streak. Last week were eighth. This week they are the fifth team in the power rankings. The Houston Rockets. Two game win streak. Four and three record. Beat the Heat. Lost to the Nets. And the disappointing loss to the Wizards. Not how you want to start off the year though. Four and three though is not bad for them. Not the greatest. They were 12th last week. Go down six spots to 18 however. The San Antonio Spurs. Three game lose streak. Started out 3 0. I thought this team was going to do something. Played three tough teams as we knew. Weren't blowout losses, so it could show they could play with the competition. But three good teams blew them out. Not really blow them out. Beat them by seven or ten points or so. The week after, they do play good teams, so we'll see how they fare up against that matchup. Spurs, one and. Or my bad, three and three. We're 4th last week, our 11th this week. The Phoenix Suns are on a two-game losing streak. Finally got their first win against a Warriors team, which kind of surprised us as well. But the Suns are 1-6. One, 
were 29th last week are only 28th this week. The Oklahoma City Thunder are on a one-game win streak over the Pelicans, lost to the Trailblazers, ended that three-game lead streak, but finally get on a winning column. So they're two and four. Last week they were 26th. This week they are 22nd. The Minnesota Timberwolves are on a one-game win streak, three and three. Big win against Milwaukee, tough loss against the Wizards, and a tough loss against the 76ers. This Timberwolves team, though, however, only dropped down to five spots. We're 10th last week, but go to 15th. The Trailblazers on a two-game losing streak, three and four to start the year. To be honest, this team is kind of consistent with that. Tough teams they faced that first week and the second week. However, they did win some of those big, bigger games. That keeps them at a 17 as they were last week. The Golden State Warriors, they're on a one-game win streak beating the Blazers. A disappointing loss against the Hornets and the Suns. Did not see those games like that way. But, however, a big win against the Spurs and the Blazers. The Warriors, 3-4 and four on a one-game win streak. Or 22nd last week, 24th this week. The Washington Wizards on a three-game winning streak. Started out 0-3. Turned that around with a big win against the Rockets. A big win against the a one-point win actually against the Wolves. And a big win against the Pistons. They were 30th last week, however. They only go up five spots for the 25th spot in the league. So as we said before, the Celtics made the biggest jump by 11, dropping from 21st to 10th, cracking the top 10. And the biggest loss was the Dallas Mavericks, dropping 10 spots from 11th to 21st. Your points leader is Kevin Durant still with 394 points on the year. Your rebounding leader is Mo Bamba with 124. Your assist leader is Favors, Derek Favors, a power forward for the Pelicans, who has 106. The closest guy next to him, 77. That's nuts for Derek Favors. Maybe Derek Favors is going to be the passing big and become like a Jokic. Your steals leader, we have three people tied for that spot. Derek Favors, DeAndre Ayton, Kevin Durant. All have 31 steals for a three-way tie to lead the league. Your block leader is Mo Bamba with 27 on the year. Drummond is next with 26. Take a look at the injury reports. The Milwaukee Bucks do not have Brooke Lopez. He has a bruised left hip. He's out day to day though, so he'll make a return looking next week. The Cleveland Cavaliers. Still without Colin Sexton. When they played the Bulls, he wasn't there. He had food poisoning. He's a day to day. He's recovering though from it. He could have played, but we are going to assume he's going to start up again this coming up week. For the Boston Celtics. Gordon Hayward, a big loss to them. Four to six weeks with a broken right leg. You hate to see it happen to a kid like this. The Clippers, two big losses. Paul George is out with a one to two week time period with a sprained right knee. That hurts them at that guard slash forward spot. And another one is Lou Williams, who is out with a pulled right calf. He's listed his day-to-day, but they are going to rule him out for at least a few games next week. The Memphis Grizzlies, Kyle Anderson, is marked out with a right knee tendonitis two- to four-week time period. Dylan Brooks is hurt with a hyperextended left knee. He's listed his day-to-day. He will probably play next week. Uh, Charlotte Hornets, Malik Monk, is hurt with a pinched nerve in the neck. He is listed out for two to four day or weeks. For the Sacramento Kings, 
Nemani Belinsa. I probably said that wrong, but he has a broken right thigh. That sucks. Four to six weeks is the Kings are gonna miss him. The Brooklyn Nets are out with Spencer Dinwiddie, who twisted his left knee. He is out one to two weeks. That's a big loss for them, especially at that guard spot. The Nuggets are missing Mason Plumley, who is hurt with back spasm. He is listed for one to two week time period. The New Orleans Pelicans, J.J. Redick is ruled out for two to four weeks with a severe left ankle sprain. Lonzo Ball is listed as hurt with a hyperextended right knee who's listed day to day. He could see some playing time again next week. The Houston Rockets are out with Ben McElmore who's listed as hurt with a bruised left shoulder. He's out two to four weeks. For the San Antonio Spurs, their biggest loss is LaMarcus Aldridge. He is out six to eight weeks with a high left ankle sprain. That hurts them. The Phoenix Suns out with DeAndre Ayton. A severe right ankle sprain four to six weeks. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Amar, Amari Spellman is out with a severe left ankle sprain. He's listed to four to six weeks as well. For the Trailblazers, they are out with a hurt Hassan Whiteside with a pinch left shoulder nerve. He's listed as day-to-day. -day. He could make a return next week. Gary Trent is recovering, though, from his pinched nerve in the neck. He's listed as day-to-day, -day, so we could see him sooner than later next week. For Golden State, Eric Pascal. Or Pascal. I probably said that one wrong, too. Sorry. Has a lower back bruise. He's listed day-to-day. -day. May be, maybe see him return next week. That's going to end it for your injury list there, guys. I will add that part in. Cut that out. So I remember. Your player of the week for this week is going to be Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks and Carl Anthony Towns for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Both of these are deserving. They played their hearts out these two weeks. Let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings real quick, as we said in the power rankings, but those were power rankings for all 30 teams. These are the Eastern and Western Conference rankings. As of now, the 76ers are the one seed, or number one in the Western or Eastern Conference. Nets are a two, Cavaliers are the three, Raptors are the four, Magic a five, Milwaukee Bucks a six, the Bulls are a seven, Celtics are an eight. Wizards are a 9, Pacers are a 10, Pistons are 11, Heat are a 12, Hornets are a 13, Hawks are a 14, and the Knicks are a 15. For the Western Conference, the Clippers are the 1, Lakers are a half game behind them at 2, Jazz are a 3, Nuggets are a 4, Rockets are a 5, Spurs are a 6, Timberwolves are a 7, Warriors are an 8, Blazers are a 9, Kings are a 10, Mavericks are 11, Grizzlies are a 12, Thunder are a 13, Pelicans are a 14, and of course the Suns are a 15. That is going to be the end of the week 2 review for you guys. Some teams are surprising us, and some teams aren't. But, to be honest, this has been kind of fun so far on how teams are performing and seeing how they are going to perform the rest of the year. As of next week, for the Week 3 matchup, we have a look at the West vs. East Conference, and then we have a West vs. West Conference. We will be watching the Denver Nuggets take on the 76ers on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day we will be watching the Oklahoma City Thunder take on the Golden State Warriors 
Christmas Eve, Christmas Day holiday special for you guys, for us. Even though it's not in real life, but for the NBA 2K Virtual World, that's how it, we're going to do. So hopefully you guys are there to watch that. Remember, December 24th, December 25th, Nuggets, 76ers, Thunder, Warriors. I hope to see you guys there.